chapter two. Waste no time. What are they gonna do? Oh, there we go. Quick recap. <clears throat> Revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change <clears throat> Gotham. Together. Bent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Repro. <laughs> Your father knew which hands to shake. Mm -hmm. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. Bye, Bent. <laughs> <laughs> this is Selena. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> How many? I'd have to count the pieces. What? Falcone's calling card. Good job, my the brother. The chemicals. We rocking with you. Where are they? We're all being played in, couldn't you? <laughs> Good job, my brother. We rocking with you. It's. <laughs> The Waynes. Well, Damn. the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. Sad Bruce. In the rain. Having flashbacks. You now, Master Bruce. Very sad. Sad Bruce. I thought I might find you here. <laughs> the news was upsetting for both of us. But it's a very French this. film. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations <laughs> about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. How could you hide this from me, Alfred? For all these years, How could what you? you have me do? You were a child. <clears throat> I've been dreading this day for nearly. I mean, there's a decades. lot of time. To say it. I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's Damn. just not possible. That kind of money taints you. You kept their secrets for them. I'm trying to help you understand. Then try harder! Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Oh, wow. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Mm. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were <clears throat> partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Working with Falcone and Hill, I expected a regular accounting not a pact with the devil. Your father was a good man in many ways, but this was his undoing. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed, and you 
were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. <clears throat> everything Damn. I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. Yeah, bitch, don't ever do that again. Obviously, this is Alfred's the first on our time side. I've been back so. here since that night. When I'm not gonna go that hard. me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known, too, too big. Hmm. It was a hit. Yet, there it was. If my father was that deep in crime, he would have had enemies. Well, it's a fair assumption. You don't think. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's mm. wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. 20-year-old <laughs> evidence on a cold case. Not a cold case, a solved case. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I want him standing here. Living right your now. trauma. <laughs> and what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. I take him to jail. Just like any other criminal. But he's not just any criminal, is he? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Mm. <clears throat> Sounds like another person that recently nearly got unalive in prison. He thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I always wanted to be brave. Just like him. And you are. He would be so proud to see that you took a different path. I mean, Diddy's very similar path. <laughs> I love that Vigilant, saw it Vigilant countless TV. times at that theater. How long did it play there? Criminal Only times. You wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. <laughs> yeah, you were rude. Well. <laughs> Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading. You don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really want to know? <laughs> Repressed memories.
This is graphic. Mm. God damn. Falcone knows why. Very sad. Single tear. Damn. Lord, have mercy. We must stay focused, brothers. to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. You owe me, Harvey, and now I need your help. Those are donations, not loans. You're not entitled to a pound of flesh. Hell, I'll settle for a handshake and a blind eye. The last time you disappeared behind closed doors with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support. I'm not sure, but I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Bruce, that's... that's terrible. That's why I have to speak with him. I have to know for sure. Bruce, I appreciate you opening up to me, but just try and keep it cool in there. I don't want any headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Dent, Mr. Wayne. Welcome to the GCPD. Thank you, Lieutenant. Now, ordinarily, we'd never let you in to see Falcone, but it must be nice to have a DA in your pocket, Mr. Wayne. Bend the rules whenever you need it. One hand washes the other, Lieutenant. Is that how it works? Of course. Otherwise, everyone has dirty hands. What he means is, we'll repay the favor in kind. I'm gonna call you on that. <laughs> Dirty ass cops. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Renee. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant <laughs> Renee Montoya. That. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. <laughs> we had to put Falcone in the infirmary. Batman practically tore him in half. Now, he's helped us a lot in the past, but if you ask me, he's out of control. Well, if it makes the city safer, who cares if a few thugs get hurt? I care. That's not the city I want to live in. Well, at least someone's getting tough on these guys. I tell you, I'd rather have Falcone in here than out on the street. You weren't there, Harvey. You didn't see it. All right, Falcone's inside. You say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. You killed my dad and mom. <laughs> yeah, he on life support. Fuck with the wrong one. <laughs> Hell, bitch. Bruce Wayne. <laughs> you must have some clout. <clears throat> My own wife can't get in to see me. <laughs> Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. It's like a mausoleum in here. You look like you tangled with the wrong guy. Goddamn Batman. I haven't took a beating this bad since before I got made. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> Your father used to sew me up. Better than these cop doctors. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. 
Going back decades. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. Hey, I tried to get through to your dense party. Maybe I should have spelled it out. We are not family, Falcone. I'm nothing like you. If you're anything like Thomas Wayne, then we're not so different. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. <laughs> Wolfman's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? Uh, no. Why would that? That would be crazy. <laughs> Catching a charge. Forty years I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. It'd be so easy to give me the whole vial, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. Of course, you'd never know the whole story. How much of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? I'm not a murderer. No, you're not. That's why you were kept in the dark. Much better, kid. Thank you. A talk. Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha, she had the human touch. I think you got more of her in you, tell the truth. Well, I wouldn't know. You took her from me when I was nine years old. But you really think I hired Chill? Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that the <laughs> I'm waiting for you in hell. Oh, my God. The bastard had to die. Hey, yo. Kids in the air, stand down. Get a doctor. Secure that escalated the so no fast. Go, go. Bruh. <laughs> wow. Wow. Maybe oh he's God. already bad. Deep shit. I'm, 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 get, I'm trying to like <sighs> outthink the game. <laughs> some time, but not much. And I think that he's already out. bad. Sooner or later. I thought that they're. It'd be gradual, but this is like, like a. This. We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. This close, we were this close. I don't, I don't she, know. She got hit by that. Um, when she burst by in. that gas. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. <sighs> it's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Right. Oh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? <laughs> Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. That details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Someone planned this for a reason. Even if that's true, the simple fact is she gunned him down in his hospital bed. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. Uh... Damn. Tell me if she says anything. 
She's off. I have to know why she did this. <clears throat> Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God. <laughs> I'm looking Great into it, but I'll need God. access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm going to try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Mm -hmm. Residue. Her veins. Still that visible gas beneath her skin. A fresh injection site. That doesn't look like blood. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Easy, easy, Sergeant. Gordon and I are going to get you through this. Through this? Oh, God. Falcone. What have I done? I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never... Never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light. Like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt. No consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was going to get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. Mm. I had to, no matter what. The reasons why I shouldn't, they were a million miles away. D did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I... I don't think so. You must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm, guiding me like a parent with a child. The voice, it was saying something about revolution. Hubblepot said something similar. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. Right, we stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. So how is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about that now. I found evidence that she was drugged. A fresh injection site on her neck. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, I do. Of course I do. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! Wh what are you doing here? My friends in the in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown. I, I'm, I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. I have no comment at this time. Don't be like that, Bruce. Talk to me. Listen, I owe you for those files on Falcone. I got a lot of credit the Gazette for that story. Whatever's going on here, you can't afford to be associated with it. Let me help you. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Police Sergeant, Renee Montoya. Wait, Sergeant Montoya? 
You didn't get this from me. Mm. An opportunity, I see. <clears throat> Possible Riz option. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to <laughs> find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found in the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Gotcha, bitch! Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Falcone had it coming. You cause as much pain as he did, eventually it comes back on you. We should all be mindful of that. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was... messy. They were out of control. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Hmm. Terrifying. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you? Oh. With this drug, they can exploit anyone's baser impulses. The things they would otherwise control. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. You go. You'll be all right. Yeah, come off those comms.
Skyline Club. Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. See me, Penguin. Check out this office. Where is I don't know? Please call my names. You can help me. Let him go. Batman! It's about time. You kill a crime, boss. You'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. They'll be pleased to know you think so highly of their work. You used an innocent cop to do your dirty work. I know how you've been using the drugs you stole at the docks. Where are they? Is this about Falcone? Where are they? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Impaling a man on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Vermin yeah, that, that don't have nothing to do with him. To be stomped out. Believe me, I know. I don't kill my enemies. Maybe that's why you got so many. Might be time to reconsider. As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. Oswald Cobblepot. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? Gotta admit, you've got flair. Here's the thing. I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay to watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Or what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name. <laughs> Damn, they got out of there so fast. Alfred, track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away.
Mm. A new twist in the race for the mayor's office as Harvey Dent backer Bruce Wayne comes under fire for alleged corruption. Joining me live is Mayor Hamilton Hill. Mr. Mayor, you said earlier today that in light of the allegations against him, Bruce Wayne should distance himself from Dent, but that was unlikely to happen. Why? He strikes me as one of the jealous sort. Very possessive of his toys. Better keep a low profile. Have to get that good stretch in. <clears throat> Did you hear? The cop. You lost? Because I don't have time for tourists. Oh, wow. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Got the W. Do you know Selena Kyle? There are men after her. Uh huh. Oh, it's nice. Well, these ones are trying to kill her. Hey. Don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. The cops take all your fancy clothes? Are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Uh, buy you a drink? How about a few? <laughs> it ain't like you're short on cash. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. He didn't seem to mind the company. Whatever. <sighs> Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. That's why I'm here. You're in danger. I've had rats on my tail all day. The man who hired you. His name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes exactly. by Penguin. Exactly. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. Wake it up. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. Pretty much, yeah. When you screw yeah. someone over, you really screw them. The penguin. <laughs> penguin can't take on both of us, and I'm not going anywhere. Clearly you know something about him. I only mm -hmm. know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. Let's He's exchange information. He's more dangerous than you think. You don't know what you're getting into. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics. <laughs> you two have a lot in common. The it's question true. is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? Oswald wanted Falcone out of the picture. Looks like he succeeded. So what? He wants to take his place? Maybe. For starters. Yep. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald. Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. <laughs> you want to stay? That's your choice. I need you, Selena. That right? If Penguin is as deadly as you say, I need all the help I can get. Bruce, sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us working together? After all, oh, Harvey. I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Ooh. Harvey knows that. Keep Harvey out of this. The less he knows, the safer he'll be. Mm -hmm. I'm sure his safety is your paramount concern. You and I. Uh -oh. That doesn't look good. Well, Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says hello. Beat it. We're here for her. Beat it, pal. If you care about your own skin, you'll get the hell out. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. Fuck out of here, bitch. <laughs> nice. Let's give it to him. You fight pretty good for such a pretty boy. Bang! Bang! Oh, what a shot from Curry! Come on, this way. We rockin' with you. Negative. Let's check the other side. Are we alone? Yeah, we're, we're alone. Let's get out of here. Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. When will I see you again? <sighs> when you least expect it. You shouldn't trust me, you know. Fair. Trainer is just trying to raise. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. Processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? The last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Ooh. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. Hill is setting me up. Penguin's gonna take a shot at me. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but... If I may offer a word of advice, the whole world was horrified at what that man did to Falcone. Nah, we're gonna turn up. the mayor too, you could lose Gotham's goodwill completely. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. 
Hey, we're going as Batman. Going as Batman. What the fuck? That's not even a... That's a bad choice. (laughs) I bet that's like (laughs) 99.99%. Unless there's, probably, unless there's like an achievement for doing it the other way. But fuck all that. The whole city is already afraid of the Batman after what you did to Falcone. Try not to make things worse by going overboard on Hill. Battering the mayor is not a good option. Alfred. I'm not in the mood for a lecture. The city will thank me later if Hill tells me Penguin's plans. Deborah, you incompetent! Dent's up in the polls. I need to crucify him in the debate or we can kiss re-election and your job goodbye. You'd better be back here in the next 15 years or I'm cutting your pay. Who's there? Deborah. Deborah. Is that you? Expecting someone. Maybe the penguin. Ah! Batman? What are you doing here? You know who Penguin is. So I've heard of him. So what? I've got nothing to do with that lowlife. Do you hear me? God damn it! Listen to me! I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Wayne, there's the real problem. He's the one you should be after. Every fiber of his being built on lies, his status, his fortune. You really believe that? I witnessed firsthand the atrocities of his family, and he's the one who profited. Security! Pick up, goddammit! Security! Don't kill me! I've done nothing wrong! I want the truth, and I'll break every bone in your body to get it. You're insane, just like they say. A madman in a mask. Yep. Penguin wants revenge for what happened to his mother. Thomas Wayne sent her to Arkham, along with who knows how many other innocents. Nothing was wrong with any of them. Until Thomas locked them up. Something this big couldn't have been hidden. There'd be records. With enough money, you can make anything, or anyone, disappear. I didn't dare speak up. Whatever happened in the past, it's nothing compared to what's happening now. Penguin isn't the only child of Arkham. There are others whose families were destroyed by Wayne. They'll make Gotham pay for his sins. No. Please. Don't. They'll have to go through me first. If I hadn't given Penguin what he wanted, he would have struck at the debate tonight. I didn't just do this for myself. I'm trying to protect Gotham. Finally. About damn time. It's Batman! Shoot him! Come on, get the mayor out of here! Dummies. I heard everything, Master Bruce. What he said about your father. It must be difficult to process. I need to know what went on in Arkham Asylum. Indeed. I'm just as frustrated as you are. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. is on here.
As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. But... Gordon heard about Batman's surprise visit to the mayor. He was far from happy. Thanks for the heads up. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hells, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how he must feel. To learn so much in so little time. To be honest, Alfred, nothing can shock me anymore. Not when it comes to my parents. I wish I felt the same way. But I suppose no good can come from wallowing. The city needs you now more than ever. I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it then. Thank you. God damn, get out of here. <laughs> Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's office. Despite the backing of billionaire Bruce Wayne, rumors persist that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign staff and making ad buys. A Dent spokesperson said these rumors are nothing more than a smear tactic perpetuated by the incumbent Mayor Hill's campaign. In other news, nobody goes to Gotham's dive bars expecting a quiet night out. But police say a brawl tonight at the Stack Deck Bar in Otisburg was the rowdiest one in recent memory. Reports say multiple arrests were made, with all the suspects taken into custody while unconscious. Police are seeking an unidentified man and woman who were seen in conversation with the assailants shortly before the fight. Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's office. Despite the backing of billionaire Bruce Wayne, rumors persist that the candidate is having trouble paying his campaign staff and making ad buys. Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at what they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there now. Harvey needs to get out of there. Glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's... Well, it's, it's not a... Harvey, listen to me. Stay away from the debate. What? No, Bruce, I I'm already here. Kind of crazy. Security's on high alert because of this threat from some guy named Penguin. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of a kill, if you ask me. Uh, look, Bruce... I didn't want to do this over the phone, but my advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blows over. They're afraid it's not a very good optic. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. <laughs> But here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. Mm. I know this is a delicate topic, but the I money. need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we'll know the truth about our friendship. Forget your campaign for a minute. The money won't matter if you're dead. Yeah, well, until I am, it is still my primary concern. Listen, I hate to push what a you, fucking but I, crazy person. I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Whatever it takes to save Gotham, that's what we wanted. No, Harvey. You can forget it. That's disappointing. 
Right. Well, look, I have to go. The, uh, the makeup person is here. Guess they have to put on my face. Listen, I'm sorry we couldn't make this work out, Bruce. quite so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. I just had the mayor in my ear about your visit. Uh -huh. And after what you did to Balcone. Gotcha, bitch! Listen, I value you looking out for the city. Really. People are terrified of you. Including my cops. Fine by me. Just give me the report so I can protect the debate. Fine. Just do it without splitting anyone in half, huh? The GCPD has orders to take you in. After tonight, I can't stand in their way anymore. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. We're all on the same side, Jim. Oh, this better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. <laughs> that, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like, you scratch my back, I cut some people up. Doing the right thing? Maybe there's hope for you yet. Don't read too much into it. I'm just <laughs> allergic to owing you anything. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Uh, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. We are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. <laughs> Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates. Incumbent mayor <laughs> it's like this guy cross and the challenger Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also <laughs> important for you, the citizens of Gotham, We'll soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home, a city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. Don't, 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 don't. Yes, massive land use on our We know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, those goddamn so sons of ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business. Firing the moderator! Oh shit. <laughs> this version of the penguin is pretty cool. I don't like their chances. Uh, they just didn't have a head for the issues. If we're quick and decisive, no one else has to die. If you say so. But Penguin's playing for keeps. Fanatics always do. <gasps> You'll do. Get out here. <laughs> Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. You. Thank you for Wait. volunteering. Please. No. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right. I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Got to take them out quietly.
Maybe next time. Do your dirty work. Look into the hearts of these spineless creatures. Chosen to go on, love. You know what to do. Hey, that's me, but not me. That is not me. You were warned, Esther. You know I always get what I want. <laughs> Commence the procedure. Give her a dose she won't come back from. <laughs> now you know. Now you will see. Please, I made a man. You could. 
I took out Thomas Wayne. That, 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 that was all him. He didn't know when to stop. I had him killed because of it. Oh. They won't bring back my poor old mum. So this is for her. I won't let you kill anyone else. Wait your turn, Dent. I'm not here to join you. I'm here to crush you. That's what I was afraid of. He escaped. City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. Meanwhile, the Wayne family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. Damn. Mr. Wayne. Lieutenant. He's lucky, you know. Could have been much worse if the Batman hadn't been there. But there still will be scars. Did you see her? Oh, look for the blood. There. <laughs> Come on. She kind of got far. Lawyers representing Bruce Wayne have no comment at this time. We are the children of Arkham, and we have opened your eyes. <laughs> yeah, I'm withdrawing funding. <laughs> Chaos. Next time on Batman, the Telltale series. Batman saved me, but I know this isn't over. 
Who are these people, Bruce? Authorities are scrambling. The so-called children of Arkham have the city in a frenzy, but there's still no sign of their masked leader. With Hill and Falcone dead by their hands, the question hmm. on everyone's lips is, who's next? After that news about your father sending innocent people to Arkham, sounds like the whole city wants your head on a pike. The Waynes have always run this company, but now... They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Oh my god. Do you really think Bruce Wayne is worth protecting? Do I tell what her? Do you want yes. Me? You know what I want. <gasps> no more hiding. Not from anyone. Boy. Bruce Wayne's finally gonna get what's coming. Bruce. 